Hey everyone, it's Liz. Today I thought I would do a haul for you guys. I've been picking up some new things for the fall, just kind of getting ready, grabbing some pieces that I really have had my eye on for a while. I apologize if there's like an echo going on. I feel like I can kind of hear an echo like as I'm talking right now. Anyway, let's just go ahead and get into the clothes. First place I'm gonna do is Zaful. I was really hesitant ordering for them because I have ordered from Romley in the past and for the most part I've had a pretty good experience but with those sites you need to be really really careful about what you order um, because it's very easy to get pieces that just like don't fit right or are the wrong like they're not made of like the best quality material so the two things that I got I had seen other girls haul on YouTube and say that they were really good so I just bought stuff that I'd seen other people buy and test out first first thing I got is this bomber jacket and I love it so so much it's just a nice black basic bomber jacket and it has sleeves that have some rouging detail on them which looks really nice. Um, amazingly enough, this, the sleeves like aren't way too long on me. They actually fit my arms pretty well. So that's really nice, but ugh, this is gonna be so perfect for the fall and the winter. I'm really happy with this, really impressed with the quality. Um, yes, cannot wait to style that. Next thing I got is this black skirt, and as you can see, it's kind of like unbuttoned right now. I just need to go through and make the buttonholes bigger. They were cut all the way. Um, so I saw a girl haul this, I forget who it was, but she mentioned that it had a Topshop label on it, and I was like, is this totally could be an actual Topshop skirt that was just rejected for some reason? Because not only does it have the Topshop tag, like still attached, it has the label on the inside, and the quality is really nice. So, I mean, I don't know if this is actually Topshop or not. I am very impressed with it. So it's just this really nice black denim little skirt that's buttoned up, so it's super in right now. So next place I got stuff from was Windsor, and I just picked up a couple things there. First thing I have is my new favorite pair of shoes, and they are these adorable taupe or brown taupe. They were labeled as taupe. I think they're taupe. Um, little booties. I love these so much. They were $15, so of course I had to get them. Um, these are so easy to wear. I wore them like two or three times this past week. In my office of the week, I swear, I wear these like almost every single day. Um, but they're just so cute and comfy and so easy to wear. Since the heel is so small, I have no issues getting to and from class in them. Love these so, so much. And I got another pair of shoes from Windsor and they are these black booties. These have a little bit more of a heel than the other ones and they hit a little bit higher up. They go past my ankle. And that's kind of what I was going for because it's really trendy right now. The black ones that kind of go up but they actually like are tight and hug your ankle, those are really cute. But I wanted a pair that weren't like super like skin tight on my ankle because I know I'd be wearing these more with like jeans um, and so it's easier to like tuck stuff into these. Anyway, love these. I don't have a pair of black booties and I love these ones because the heel is a little bit on the high side but I would still feel like comfortable wearing this to class um, on one of my days when I don't have to walk as much. Um, but these are also like so perfect for going out when you do not want to be wearing like something where your foot is out so your feet don't get cold, you know what I mean? Um, oh my gosh, and these with a dress and a pair of knee-high socks, it's going to be so cute. I love these and I cannot wait to style these like a ton of different ways. Last but not least from Windsor, I got a pair of pants. This is just a pair of black denim that have rips at the knees. You can't see because it's black, but on each knee there is a like slit and it has some distressing around it. And then the bottom is on trend with the frayed, like unfinished hem. It's not like super distressed like some denim is right now, but it still is frayed, which gives it that look, which I really like. I was amazed that these jeans aren't too long on me, because um, most of the time when I get jeans, they're way too long on me because I'm on the shorter side. These actually fit really well and they fit all over really well, so that was awesome ordering pants and actually like having them fit true to size, so that was great. But these are by the brand Oasis. Final place is Forever 21. Here I just got tops because I needed tops. <laughs> um, the whole point of this like shopping excursion, even though all of it was done online and it was delivered to me here, was to get kind of like good basic pieces that I can style a bunch of different ways. Um, just because I really am kind of lacking 
in that department. Like, especially when it comes to tops, I really don't have that many tops, especially wear to class. So I wanted to get some cuter tops to wear to class. First top from Forever 21 is this really, really cute, like, burgundy top. I thought it was, oh my gosh, that washes me out so much. <laughs> I thought it was going to be more on the maroon side since I go to Virginia Tech, so I was kind of hoping to get a maroon shirt, but this is still a really nice color and I really love berry tones on me, especially in the fall and winter. Um, I think they complement me really well. So I love this shirt. It's just a cute little off the shoulder flowy top with crochet detailing at the sleeves and at the bottom. So yeah, I wore this the other day um, for a meeting and it was just so easy to throw on and it looks so cute. I wore this with some ripped jeans and then the brown booties from Windsor and I loved it, <laughs> I was feeling it. So yeah, this is such an easy top to throw on and it's nice because it's longer and long sleeve but since it's a lightweight fabric, it's kind of perfect for the transition from summer to fall. It's just a basic black tank top, very basic. Um, I don't own a black tank top and I mean, it's so it's such like a good thing to have. Like you can style this literally a hundred different ways. So I grabbed it. It was less than ten dollars, I'm sure. So, yep, just one of those things that you need to have in your closet. I'm probably most excited about this shirt, even though it's such again like a very basic shirt. It's just a gray long Henley shirt. Oh, it's so comfy. It's a really nice kind of waffle knit material. Totally have a thing for gray Henley shirts, especially when they're layered. I just throw a flannel over it, throw another sweater over it, like put a scarf on. Ugh, such a good layering piece because it's just such a simple and like well-known cut and then you can make it so fashionable and I just, I love it so much. And this is the kind of shirt that I would wear during the day and then sleep in it at night, which makes it even better. But can you tell I'm excited about this shirt? I cannot wait until it's cold enough to wear this. This shirt is the only shirt that I'm not really that happy with and I'm probably gonna give it to one of my friends because it's just, it, it's not meant for me. So it's this nice little like box knit shirt. I mean, it was really cheap. It was like, I think five or six dollars. So I'm not like actually annoyed that it doesn't look good on me, but like you can already tell this color not the best color on me. <laughs> um, I expected it to be a little bit either darker or lighter. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking. I saw it online and I must have really liked the way it looked on the model and I didn't fully think through how it would look on me. Um, and it doesn't look good on me, so. Next is another like basic shirt that Pinterest made me buy. It is just a like little mock neck long sleeve black and white striped kind of rib knit tight shirt. I love mock necks. I'm so excited to get into them this fall. And this, I've seen like a nice striped mock neck shirt um, styled so many different ways on, his, pin, ugh, on Pinterest. And so I want to style it all the ways. I just love pieces to layer with and this is such a good like base of a really good outfit, so. That's gonna be really cute. <laughs> Last but not least, my roommate was maybe more excited about this shirt than I was. <laughs> and she's already worn it, so we're both pretty excited about this shirt. It's so cute. So it's buttoned down in the front with the super trendy like V cut out, but the collar is still there. And it has these adorable little fluttery sleeves and it's in this amazing print. It's like a burgundy background or like maroon background with these really nice like yellow orange flowers all over it and then it has a little bit of a little something something in the back. My roommate wore this for some pictures she took with her sorority and it looked so cute. Um, she's pale like me and so these colors just kind of like they work for us. <laughs> okay, so that is everything that I have bought in the past week or two. All my new clothes for fall. I'm very excited, super excited to start styling them. I was thinking of doing a lookbook, but honestly, I think I'm gonna try to keep up with doing the outfits of the week every week. Um, so that's kind of like lookbooks, I guess. If you guys wanna see a specific like how to style blank, just let me know and I can try and make that happen because those videos are really fun to do. Um, so yeah, feel free to leave any requests you have down below and I will try to do my best to like do them, you know what I mean? <laughs> that is it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!